Hello, everybody. You are quite ready to go live, but here we are. We're so bright. Yeah, it's killed that light. Um, we haven't been on for a while. That one? No. So. Yeah. Well, that's better. Yep. All right, we have not been on for a while. So I would say no news is good news, right? Yeah, well, you're just let's go with that. Getting no on to the next phase. News. Karen, you are the first one on. That's prompt. And Karen, two Karens, two for two. Um, so we thought we'd do a little show and tell, give a little update, um, drink a little wine. You know, I'm gonna have a beer. Are you gonna have a beer? I am. It's snow day. <laughs> this is snow day. <laughs> you said work. I gotta work tomorrow, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, so why don't you talk about what you're doing over there, Jonathan Baker? And I'm so we're trying get... to, you know, Oops. we're back. I'm back on chemo. I uh, started that on. Um, started that on. You're not really supposed to walk away from the camera when you're on. I'm just showing. I got show and tell. Remember okay. today's show and tell. I got show and tell too. What? I, your show and tell is way more fun. Than mine. <laughs> So I started on chemo last Thursday again, same, basically same dosage, dosage that I had when I was doing radiation. Well, remember, uh, uh, remember we didn't know what you were going to get. I think that's where we left, what yeah. last left off was we didn't know the randomized part of the study was. Right. Were you going to do five days. five days over a month or 21 days mm -hmm. over a month? I got chosen for 21. Uh, I don't know if that was good or bad. Uh, it just is what it is. So. Hi, um, but it's the same basic routine that I was on before. I have to take them every day. It's not a big deal. No nausea, no issues, no, mm -hmm. uh, still working out every day. Um, maybe a little fatigue, but I don't know. Maybe it's just been tired. I don't, I don't think it's. Maybe you're just getting used to sleeping late. No, I need to sleep late. That's a good thing. <laughs> anyway, so because of the chemo, we got to watch out for the platelet count. Um, yeah. So I'm back on trying to figure out what will do that. You know, what what kind of combo. Found papaya is going extract. To that was a panic for a while. Uh, yeah. So I, so we're trying that. We hadn't. We didn't do papaya last time. Mm -hmm. So when we did the, when we got the 118, we didn't use papaya. So now we're we've got we've got papaya. Oh my here's, god. Here's the papaya mm -hmm. leaf. Mm -hmm. Extract. Not seed. Nope. It's got to be leaf. And we've got sesame oil. Okay, uh -huh. that was a concoction that was. In the last shape that you guys <laughs> saw me shake. take. Yes, it is yeah. a platelet shape. Uh, our organic wheatgrass. Yep. And of course. <laughs> our poor aloe leaf is like dis disintegrating. You're, yeah, I am. It's, You're it's, going through it. It's going away. So at mm -hmm. any rate, but my darling wife invested in yes. a proper blender. Today. So hopefully mm -hmm. the shake won't be as bad. So I've got it in my little... Look at the wheatgrass. It's, it's so, so pretty. pretty. We should plant it. <laughs> plant it in your belly so it can help your freaking platelets. So we're going to try to blend this sucker up and see if it looks any better. This might be really loud. It's going to be loud. Go Let's quick. Just, just go quick. Let's try it. Does it fit on that thing? It's supposed to, yeah. We just got it today, like an hour ago. So. <laughs> Unless it doesn't work. Oh. Don't be scared of it. Are you putting it on pulse? Thought... Solid. Yep. That seems much more. That that pureed. makes for some good TV. to drink this shit, okay? I'm going to go don't. forward. I don't have to I remember that, that you, you would have gagged. You absolutely would have thrown up. You do up. need a blender sponsor. Those things are freaking expensive. Yeah, it wasn't cheap. You got a $20 off at Sam's, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's still grass in there. Definitely grass. Okay. <laughs> it's not as chunky as it was the other no, day. No, oh, it does not. Anyway. It's the toasted sesame stuff, I think. It's I just, think that tastes good, though. I'm but sure we have so many things going on right now because, look. I'll we finish have, blending um, this later. Yeah. I'll interrupt. You don't want to drink take your it? Time. No, it's, I'm not going to drink it when I've got leaves in there. This is not. <laughs> it's still grass. I'm grabs. not going to do that again. That's why I bought this friction. We're going to blend that shit until it's liquid. Work. We have 
We did, um, look, I made a batch of, um, you guys, these are so good. If you're doing keto or if you're not, you it's just delish. I made a batch of these Parmesan crisps, which are so good. So good and easy. I thought he was going to do that later. No. I, I, I my 8 o'clock, I'm already over. It's um, 9 o'clock. So that's he's, the other He's thing. doing, yeah. fun of you because you're so freaking loud okay you want, to drink, you want to drink this i don't well then shut it it does look like wait can't pass it it doesn't look like vomit this time well it's, it's not, not as chunky it's not as it's definitely not as uh, thick yeah it was just that, mm -hmm. that that one before hanging out my mouth was just unacceptable really okay grass is gone okay, that's good. a good sign mm -hmm. so, so yeah so he's doing not only keto but also now intermittent fasting why did you start that again somebody asked me and i couldn't remember uh, it's supposed to help getting on into ketosis. Well, it helps you get into ketosis. Yeah, and they also Have said... Have you peed on a stick lately? No, I'm going to try today, I think. Actually, this is probably not, not good for ketosis. You're supposed to do it first thing in the morning. I will, I will. I don't know. God. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My face looks a lot better when I'm drinking mine. Much better. Mm-hmm. But still a little grassy. A little grassy? Yeah, try. The sesame does smell good though. You don't like the sesame. Um, anyway, so intermittent fasting is supposed to help with keto. And um <laughs> you're just gonna drip down yourself. Oh my god. Anyway, what else are you gonna talk about? We have an update. Don't puke on me. Um, so. Gotta find a way to get that grass. I don't think that tastes bad. I think you're being a baby. You're being dramatic. Is that a dramatic flair for the television? For the watchers? <laughs> I think it is. I'm at least a good actor. Such a bitch. <laughs> oh, God, you're such a baby. Um, so. This is very boring to watch. How about I throw up on you? Will that, be good TV? <laughs> that might be better TV. All right, done. Okay. Yay! You did it. It was way better um, than the other one. I gotta say that for sure. All right, so talk about um, <clears throat> we go to Duke. Oh, we got the flight. We went. Yeah, yeah. So, um, friend of mine, uh, Chip Baring who's also up with Shamrock and getting this Cobra s squared away. Mm -hmm. uh, we heard from Angel Flight or heard about Angel Flight where they- You guys know about Angel Flight? They're like private uh, pilots that volunteer to take people to different- In private planes. Hospitals and stuff, yeah. To do their treatments, right? Is it only for cancer or for- No, no, everything? it's for it's for Everything whatever. medical? Yeah, and, and I had heard different things while mm -hmm. there's- You had to qualify. It might be income based and so on and so forth and so mm -hmm. I was like, ah, that's, yeah. so anyway, he said, "Hey, this friend of mine well, wait. does it." Okay, go ahead. What, what are you gonna fill in the blanks? I'm gonna talk about what at Riverside the other day, but you talked to Chip. Yeah. We talked about Angel Flight. Then I'm at Riverside, and Jake's tennis coach oh, right. um, is actually a pilot, and oh, he that's said, "Totally different subject, right?" No, it's Angel Flight. Oh, I thought he, it was him. He works for Angel Flight. Oh, okay. He said, I help with Angel Flight. Have you guys looked into getting that to go back and forth to Duke? Because it's unlimited trips. It's just like, like we got ticket vouchers from Duke to have one round trip ticket. They just do Southwest. Southwest. Go, yeah. go down to the big airport. And yeah. And, um, which is great. It's a great deal. Um, but Angel Flight, he's like, check into Angel Flight. And how, we thought that it was like income based. So we didn't really look at it very no. closely. And he said, no, 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 do it. Check it out. So this is Jake's tennis coach at Riverside, who's a pilot who flies for Angel Flight. So anyway. So I called today. Mm -hmm. I emailed Sunday, and they, they emailed me right back. What? Oh. And uh, uh, I talked to him today. Mm -hmm. I was on the phone. 
yeah. and they got my information uh, and and they were like well we have to see if you're what do they call it it wasn't a flight they called it a something uh, is approved no? something like that okay. um, and I'm like well, how does that get approved she goes well you know hang on one second and I'll see I'll see if I can get it approved and I was like well, yeah, what's the process? I don't know. I think you she asked know? the person next to her. And she's like, <laughs> it was like, like 30 seconds. Go. She's like, you're approved. I was like, yay. <laughs> hey, this guy's name is John. Right. And is he approved? Yeah, and he has yeah. cancer. And, and he has he's going to Duke. Sure, we'll take him. So I guess they run up a flagpole. They, they put it out there, and then all the volunteers go, and they say, hey, I'll take that one. And um, they, they did say that there was an issue with about, about like, they only let them fly. They only asked them to fly 350 nautical miles. How and far I, is that? It's probably, it's it's probably on the edge, uh, probably up closer to four hundred. I'm guessing really? Raleigh. Yeah, you know, six hours to drive, right? So, oh. anyway, um, she said that we might have to fly back a day later and blah blah blah. And then she, I, I think she was a little confused. Anyway, I'm getting the details on it, but it looks like they might, they might be able well, to like do right all. Well, like right now, we're technically booked for your next trip. Yeah. The fourteenth, the thirteenth, they're gonna fly us up. I'm a little and nervous then, uh, about that. Uh, well, they said that, yeah. I mean, I'm nervous about flying both of us in a plane. I think they're going to do a glider. Plane. I think it's going to be a glider. Are we, really? Oh, my God. We have to parachute down from a glider. That would not surprise me if you were setting it up. Yeah, let's Jesus. do it. That would be awesome, actually. It would be so amazing. Imagine, imagine parachute how Parachute down to the cancer center? Yeah. Sounds about right. That has help from it. Probably somebody help us. Oh, my God. Anyway, you... Sorry. It was booked. So it's what booked. Do we do? So, so yeah, 13th, uh, we've, we, we're we going to fly out probably uh, like noon or something like that. And then we get there and we'll go to our hotel. Our, our new favorite place. Uh, the Washington I something. Washington. I don't know. Mm, I never anyway, it's a nice, nice spot. They took mm -hmm. care of us last time really well. Yeah. And uh, we'll stay there the 13th and the 14th and then we'll fly back the 15th. Ooh, Valentine's Day. Yeah. Slash CF Diagnosis Day. That doesn't turn out to be, and this is going to be like a first it's injection. It's going to be first injection for cancer day. We're going to have a lot. <laughs> it's a big day for us, the 14th. <laughs> oh my God. So anyway, that's the, that's the deal. So that's kind of cool. We, we put it out there to see if we could find someone with a plane, and, and it looks like it's going to happen. So hopefully we won't have to drive as much. Um, drive. We have to be able to drive as a backup. We have to maybe yeah. have regular airlines as a backup because if those guys have something... Weather-wise, go on. They're not going to fly, and they'd say, "Hey, you've got to be. You have to have a backup." Yeah. Backup's easy. Six-hour drive. We can get there. So yeah. anyway, that's good. The problem good is, if, what if we get there and then we have to have a backup getting back? No, well, that's rent a rental car. car, or you draw, you fly back on Southwest. Oh, that's to true. Atlanta. Uh, so we're good. Okay. Long as you know, pilots know what they're doing, and she assured me that they're highly qualified, and lots of hours, and instrument tested, and all that. <laughs> Thank God. So, oh, that's all we need. Yeah, um, that would suck. So, <laughs> Sarah, I finally get to see this live. Good timing. Um, what else? That's it. I'm done. I got nothing else. Volleyball's going well. Uh, work's going well. I'm in, you know, pretty much full time. And uh, I know with some flex. Life is back. Well, that's oh. why one of the hard things about squeezing in these videos. I was telling one of my friends today. I'm like, it's hot. We can't squeeze them in because we're freaking busy. Life is back. No more slacking. Yeah. No more freaking radiation I can't let vacation. It all I can't let it go radiation all the way vacation. That has a ring to it. Did you just think that? I did. <laughs> that was they really literally good. have that written on the bell. Radiation vacation. They do? Yeah. yeah. Not not an original thought. <laughs> that's my original thought. Well, in your mind, maybe that's about it. <laughs> not an original it's thought. Mind. It's your original. Original for I've you. I've seriously never seen that before. It's because you weren't there every day for six weeks. Solid point. All right, well, I guess. That's it. That's all we have. Yeah. It's kind of boring around here, people. Boring's not bad, I think. Not boring's about. not bad. Maybe you could pick your shit up out of my kitchen. That would be amazing. If you're super really? bored. Really? If you're bored. You're the one who ordered that shit. I got it for you. I know. I just unwrapped it. Can I have five minutes? <laughs> Fucking A. I just used it. <laughs> what? This is not a family show. It's true. <laughs> God bless America. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> 
Uh, they said the hair might grow back, should grow back, but six months. But should we keep the bald? Oh, that's a good question. I'm kind of digging it. Question to the to the fans. Keep it. I don't know. Yeah. I like it. I like the beard. Do actually. I like your beard. I like your beard. Um. So the other thing, shoot, that just went through my mind. Oh, when do you have to do labs again? Because that's a little Monday. stressful to me. And so what happens if they're Monday. low? Monday. Wait, what happens if they're low? I have no idea. No, they can't kick you out, though. Well, they can. Absolutely kick you out. I don't no, think I that they do. I thought that once we had the first one, we were clear. You're cleared for... Oh, uh, my God. You should tell the chemo story, though. The chemo? Which one? The one about tracking, racing down the FedEx guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, so they, were, they sent the chemo, the pills, right? And they sent it FedEx... And they tried to deliver it to the house, but Pam was supposed to be home, but she had to work that day. And yeah. nobody else was home to sign for it. And they never told me that we would have gone out to sign for it. So all of a sudden, they dumped us on me. I'm at work. I'm like, Jesus Christ. So finally, we, uh, I get in contact with them. They're like, yeah, okay, they're going to they're, they're gonna deliver it before 8 o'clock. So, so what, if, what happens if you don't get the chemo this day? So if you don't get the chemo, <laughs> you, you, everything starts over. They, they have, have to, to do all the Reschedule everything. They have to do all the testing over again. Everything. Everything restarts, and I'm like, so oh, that can't happen. So I'm, I'm in the afternoon, call over to Duke, and I called over. They got me to FedEx, and FedEx is like, oh, yeah, we already delivered it. Oh, no one was there to sign for it. So we then sent it to this, you know, facility over here. And I'm like, okay, that's not far from volleyball. I'll go after practice, and I'll go get it. Uh, you have to be there between 7 and 8 exactly. You know, one hour window, <laughs> or else you're totally hosed. So I'm like... Leaving all, I'm sweating, nervous, and I don't pull up. Don't start the plate lifting again. Yeah, I don't want to go through that nonsense. No. So I pull up, I go to the thing, and I go, hey, I'm John Baker, here's my confirmation thing, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, I see that it was delivered. Oh, but no one was there to sign for it. I'm like, yeah, been through the yeah. story already. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, it's not here. I'm like, well, what? they said it was here, it was right here. This is the address. I wrote it down. They're like, oh, no, they took it to some Walgreens. I'm like, Walgreens. Walgreens? What What do you mean? And they're like, yeah, it's on Crossville Road. I'm like, okay, that's right by my house. I know where it is. Are you sure they have it? They called over there. They had it. <clears throat> so then I, I called on the way to make sure they wouldn't be closed by the time I got there. And then I got it. Worked it worked out. Freaking, freaking frack. <laughs> but yeah, worked out. It's always a little All stress. Yep. Makes it interesting. Makes for a fun journey. Doesn't it? Yeah. It's all fun. Um, I guess that's all though. That's it. So I guess we'll touch base whenever there's anything to touch base about. Yeah. I still have to post those hella skiing pictures though. Yeah, we got some video and stuff to post. Too. All right. Okay. I guess that's all. Peace out. Peace. But love you. Still love everything you give us. Bye guys. <laughs>